All right, Joe says, which Microsoft app is best for managing projects? I'm currently using Planner, but I would prefer a better alternative. And I think this, the correct answer for this is the age old answer to every consulting question, which is- It depends. It depends. It depends. <laughs> what are you trying to do? What is and, Planner- And what's annoying you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it about Planner that's not meeting your needs? Yeah, it's interesting because with Microsoft shifting away from the complexity of project, I mean, they're just, most people are not doing that detailed of project planning anymore. Right. I mean, Microsoft's not any, there's going to be project. Um, project online, however, is shifting their Planner focus. Pro. It's all going Planner over to pro, plan, the planner side of things. Yeah, And so in the yeah. Microsoft ecosystem, then that leaves you with really kind of four tools. Um, so there is, uh, you know, planner and to do on the lightweight side, there's the project mm -hmm. um, that'll always be there for the, for the detailed plans. And then you have the DevOps, which is not technically a project management tool, but it has that capability built into it. So in the Microsoft ecosystem, there are those. Now, that the, it depends. Like, like what? What? Uh, this is one of those things where Joe would be great if we could have a conversation and understand what the the issues are there. Um, but for a lot of organizations, and I, I'm, I'm talking more on this one because this is like this is my background. This is how I I did. I built PMOs, doing project and portfolio management tools. I worked with a lot of third party tools. Got into the Microsoft ecosystem. How I got introduced into Ooh. the SharePoint world was doing a project server install back in 2005. So um, yeah, a, a, lo a lot of it, and I hated SharePoint. And then I- Dirty learned... little secrets there, Christian. Yeah, but Ooh. it's a, but but that the, the uh, so a lot of the, the problem with the, the complaint that people have of serious project managers with Planner yeah. is that it's too basic, too lightweight, doesn't do core things, but then mm -hmm. Project Online- That's what it's meant to people. Too yeah. heavy duty, yeah. And, yep. and too much of a learning curve. And so they want something in between. And my answer for that is that I know that Microsoft is a doing, that's doing a lot. They're, they're adding on to planner. I love mm -hmm. the to do integration so that they're, I might be named owner of tasks across 20 different projects. And if they're all yep. in the cloud, if they're in, you know, uh, if, if they're in planner, then all of those assignments across all of these will show up in to do. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. It's my manner mm -hmm. heaven of all things task yeah. management because it all <laughs> filters in there. I love it. But I, I mean, I've had that something in between. You know, mm -hmm. I, I've been working with organizations where they've, they're moving over to the likes of lists and having it go up into a Power BI dashboard. Yep. So, you know, it's like, what can it look like in between? And you can create your own columns and have that metadata and be able to filter and work with it as a bit of an Close. in between. It's, it's some of that, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, is there something very specific you need? Like, I need a Gantt chart. Uh, where it's got all the interconnections of all the different task management on all the timelines, then yeah, you're going to need to go over to project kind of thing and, and sort of go up a if little If you're doing higher. resource management, if you're doing that level yes. of tracking and the budgeting yes. and reporting out of that, yeah, you're not going to get the analytics yeah. out of plan. Yeah. You need yeah, to go over right. a project or another tool, you know, uh, uh, other options. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, that's another options. question is, Joe, do you want to stay in the Microsoft ecosystem 100% or... Are you looking for another third-party tool? And we're, we're not prepared to talk about other completely external, but there yeah. are some partner solutions that leverage yeah. what is there, do yeah. more on top of that. I, I'm a huge fan of the of the Canbo um, app. So if you're not familiar, so K-A-N-B-O, I mean, definitely go to take a look at Canbo, what they do. You can use that within Teams. It leverages SharePoint on the back end mm -hmm. and does a ton of stuff that Planner doesn't do. For example, um, here's something that is just annoying to me is that if I've got planner and I've got the various columns, the buckets of activities, I've got my methodology is I'm, if let's say I change something and I move it over into a later stage, I drag it over into that column. Like you don't have any record that it used to be in this other column, you know, around that. And mm -hmm. Canbo does that. 
you have complete the receipts of it was in this column it was moved by this person on this date with these ads it is a complete change log of that card on its life cycle through that like that alone is fantastic if you are nerded out by project management tools but to be able to go and look and, and backtrack and say who made that edit when what did they do um you know if you need to bring the receipts to those activities then you can leverage something like canvo yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's it's one of those spaces that we do see that you know that just that uh, that in between which the planner doesn't quite take you to that planner is designed to be in its simplistic form for everyday usage in teams. It's about the everyday person. Um, and it's got to be simple enough that the everyday you know, individual can still work mm -hmm. with their manager on a particular project inside a team. So they're trying to do the you know square round holes sort of thing going mm on um so it's like is it really necessary and i think that then there's a lot of panic inside organizations oh you know the, the whole project team needs to then have project to be able to deal with pro it's like no there's got, whoever's actually managing the project needs to create it everyone else can still view you know you've got the view rights to be able to deal with it they just can't mm -hmm. go in and do all the building and that's where they i see a lot of um uh, teams that I'm working with go into a bit of a panic over, but it's so expensive to do, you know, project. <laughs> it's like, well, no, no, you don't need everyone. It's enough for one. And is that all you need? Or maybe two maximum if you've got a helper that, uh, you know, supports you in building all of this, but not everyone needs it. So. I know one of the age old question too of, yeah, it will be more expensive than planner because planner is included in your existing licensing. Uh, so but is your project worth that investment too, if you do need three licenses? Yeah. And you no, know, it's gonna be cheaper than going out more often than not to third parties and you know, trying to then integrate third parties in. And the good part about it is it's because it's in your ecosystem, it all feeds through into the likes of, you know, the planner if you need to or to do, or you can set up automation or you can set up, you know, all these other things because it's mm -hmm. already in your environment and you retain everything inside your environment rather than bringing yep. third parties and having potentially information sitting outside your ecosystem. Yep, 100%. That this is why Joe, you can see it's a, it is, and it depends. Like what, what are your needs? <laughs> yeah. What is lacking? What yep. are you trying to do with this? So yep. yeah, yep. it's a, I mean, having worked with organizations that were very much interested in improving their uh, product, uh, 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 you know, the, the manufacturing process, you know, uh, um, time to market and be able to mm -hmm. reduce cycles to reduce per product cost like all those kinds of things like that's not what planner is for i mean that's when you get into the hardcore project management yeah. uh, uh you know, world yeah. and project might not even be powerful enough for what you need um mm -hmm. so just be clear on what you're trying to do what's lacking there and there are always trade-offs you're right you bring yeah. in a third-party tool then there's integration there's maintaining that licensing training. Might, uh, likely be more expensive training mm -hmm. turnover the personnel with that knowledge i mean kind of all of those things versus mm -hmm. something that gives you most of what you need and then you can extend it through power apps power automate lists and and other things so mm -hmm. it depends yeah that's build your own yeah. power up <laughs> yeah <laughs> in three easy steps Yes, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs>